Today we're going to be checking out all the very best hotspots to find diamonds and rares here in Verhonga Savannah. So if you'd like to increase your diamond count, definitely stick around. Right to the end of the video, I will share a keyword. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel. And let me know in the comments what your best trophy has been from Verhonga Savannah. So the hotspot we're going to have a look at right now is right outside this outpost right here, which is the cool Rila outpost. This is where you will find it, basically top middle of the map. And I've just taken a few steps out and look what I can see from right here. We have right out of the gate, side stripe jackal, and we have a whole pile of scrub hair that are too far away. I need to go grab my Argus so I can spot them. Also, this area is amazing for Springbok. So the time right now is 549. The zone the Springbok are in is their four to eight feed zone. But basically you're gonna find a pile of Springbok, a pile of scrub hair, and you will find side striped jackals out here right around this time. And you have pretty amazing visibility being up high. The elevation is very sweet and I already, oh, hello. I'm almost tripping on them. And I already did spook a herd of Springbok just walking out here. Okay, so I came back to the outpost and I am looking out the other side and there is a pile of jackals out here. Oh, there's a big one. There's a level seven. That's a pretty nice one. Now, I would recommend hunting out here with your collar because especially with the jackals, they love to hide and there is quite a lot of brush. There's more springbok coming out. They're just starting to come out. There's going to be even more out here. This area is pretty crazy. So the best way to spot grab hair and if you can't spot the jackals, is to just throw the Argus on any of your rifles and that will zoom you in definitely close enough so that you can spot them all and see if you have any diamond potential or rares there. And I do have to zoom in the entire way in order to see them. So they're pretty far. But knowing where the feed zones are for side stripe jackal, scrub hair, and for springbok is important because none of these species drink anymore. So basically this hotspot is, if you start out right in this outpost, it's all around this outpost here kind of goes like that and there is another zone and there is actually a gigantic springbok in there we're gonna need to shoot it where did it go there it is look at that guy so he is a max weight level four he goes up to 76 i think we should shoot him so when you're looking out here you want to stay elevated so you can definitely see better and there are scrub hair out here and we got her. So I actually had to run back to get 243 bullets because I forgot them. More scrub hair in there. And I'm working my way back to the springbok and we are finding quite a few scrub hair. Not very big but she is very dead. Now, as you can see, I'm coming in from the other side and I wouldn't even know they were there except for I marked them. So they can definitely hide in the hills and valleys out here. There's our big guy right there. And he is down. Now those are black brown springbok. They're not rare. They are a common fur variant and they only come on females. Okay, and here is our big guy. Well, he could be bigger. 69.75, so he's not gigantic. Diamond is 78.55. He's not a bad one, not bad at all. So this area right around 5.30 in the morning, awesome for springbok, side striped jackal, and for scrub hair. Okay, so we're in a different feed zone location. It is 6.23 in the morning and right out of the gate, we have a pack of side striped jackals and this is their feed zone animation. So if you actually want them to calm down, just get within 200 meters, put out a call with the predator jackrabbit collar, you'll get their attention and they'll stop running around. I think they're now traveling, but this area you just come out here and you go directly up this way i just ran up to 26 meters from this guy and now he is thinking about leaving but no no leaving for you so we have springbok oh we do have that zone thought i didn't and we got him she's a little slow on the uptake you know what i mean <laughs> gotta be a little faster okay so we do have a herd of springbok here and this area, you're gonna find just a pile of springbok. And I kind of miss them drinking, but makes them more challenging when you don't have a drink time. 
So if you actually start down here at the Mizuti Hollow Outpost and you go up and kind of diagonally this way, you're gonna find a pile of springbok in this area right here. You will find some side stripe jackals, but they actually are out here earlier. Four to eight is the springbok time. That's the zone that they're in right now. And the time is almost eight o'clock, 10 to eight. Okay, and we have more springbok out here and we do have side stripe jackal and there are quite a few of them. That's three springbok zones right there. That's a springbok zone right there. They go all the way up to there. We need to find some more. And there is a max weight level four right there. Uh, did I get them? No, I didn't. I tried, that's a tough shot. But the point is there are a lot of springbok out here. <laughs> and there we have more springbok, more coming in. There's just a pile of springbok out here. Okay, so I traveled a little further and we did find quite a few more zones. So if you look in here, they do all these zones travel all the way up to about this area right here. Okay, so we are in another hot spot for springbok. This area is loaded with springbok. So again, a lot of the zones here are from four till eight. So right now we are in the Verhonga Plateau. So you want to start here at the again I'm not gonna pronounce that name but this outpost right here and all of these are springbok feed zones so look at all the springbok out here and then when you go over swing right got a big four here and a pile more springbok and I would imagine as you keep going up here you will find more there's another one up there and that one is from 8 until 11 so let's go have a little peek and see what we find out there but first I think I should shoot this guy and there is a pile of scrub hair this is also a hot spot for scrub hair probably one of the best spots on the map for them and splat he is down oh look at the rabbits run level two and a level two female and there's another one another male tell you make a little bit of noise and they will come flying out if you are finding value in today's video please take a second and hit that like button so you will be recommended more content just like this so they rest here from six till ten and their feed zone is from three till six. Mm, there he is. He's a nice one. Not bad. Not bad at all. 69.65 gold. And that was a pretty sweet shot. <laughs> the springbok just flew right up to me. It's 35 meters away. So there's got to be a zone here. They're just everywhere. They're all over the place here. Oh, more coming in. So definitely hit this area for springbok, side stripe jackal, and for scrub hair. Okay, so we are at a different location that is amazing for feed zones. So right now, I am just outside of the Kensani Nuwana outpost. Bottom right-hand corner. Look at all the animals out here. We have a pile of Cape Buffalo. We have warthogs. I just saw a kudu. I don't know where it went but capes are everywhere. And this spot is great because you have all this elevation so you can see really well. So the time is 718. And what I like to do is come out of this outpost and travel to this area right here around this time. There's the kudu. Okay, the capes have started to feed. So we do have a feed zone right here. So right out here in the middle. You can see it right from the outpost. And we have feeding warthogs as well. More warthog feed zones. Very sweet. This location is pretty great. Now this hot spot is my absolute favorite lake on the entire map. It's not great for one species. It's great for multiple species. Now on this lake, this is the lake I'm talking about. This one right here. This is where it's found on the map. It is really, really far from the closest outpost. So you definitely do want at least one tent. I would recommend having two because it is such a large lake. I have four because I am set up for the lion grind, but this is an amazing lake for lions, gemspok, and wildebeest. So here we have a herd of wildebeest. During one of our guided hunts, we found two diamond wildebeest on this lake and a diamond Eurasian widgeon. So there's more down there. We have Gemsbok down at the end. They're probably just leaving their drink zone, but this lake is loaded. Let's check it during Gemsbok drink time. Okay, so I changed the time to just after five o'clock. Gemsbok drink from three until six. So here's a zone that we're standing on right here. And then look at all of the Gemsbok here. And that's a pretty nice one. Ooh, we definitely need to shoot that one. 337.59 is diamond. So she would have to score right at the top, but she is diamond potential. It is possible. So probably unlikely, but we're definitely gonna find out. 
And there's another zone. They're just starting to come in. And another one down there. Like I said, six to eight drink zones for each of these species. And it is amazing for lions. We will change the time to lion time in just a second. Looked good, we got her. And they're not even all spooking. Okay, I have a tent there. Delightful. So I just fast traveled over here. We do have more Gemsbok on the other side where I just came from. Ooh, 328. That is a pretty big one, just not big enough. But level four females make diamond a lot more than level fives do. And that is the truth. Level five male Gemsbok are the worst trolls in the game. And that's saying a lot because reindeer are pretty bad. Okay, so now I have moved over to this tent and down on the other side, we do have more drink zones for Gemsbok. Now we need to change it to lion drink time and they drink from 12 until 1500. Okay, so right out of the gate, we have two level five lions. They do pay really, really well, but finding a bunch of them in the same area is a tough thing to do. Okay, so now I have moved over to this tent the two level fives are right around this area. There's a zone there with a lioness. Another zone with a level six and another level six. So, so far two level fives and two level six males, all kinds of lionesses. There's a zone with two of them. And now I'm gonna come down and check what's at the bottom of the lake. That's another level six. That's three level sixes now. And down here at the bottom, we have a level six and a level seven. So we actually nicknamed this lake Lion Lake because it is such an amazing lake for lions. So definitely drop a tent or two on this lake and hit it during all different drink times. You're gonna find a pile of animals here. Now you will also find lions at all of the little lakes in the center of the map. You won't have any lions on the coast. There are no lions at this lake down here or this lake here but they are everywhere else and also there are lions where there is no water basically in this area here you'll find four or five drink zones so check there as well so another lake that i really like for a variety of species is the twin lakes right here it's great for lions and we have a big one there and then i believe we have a lioness over there and we have two zones full of eurasian widgeon here just a pile of ducks and I did not make it. Okay, well, we got along anyway. Okay, here he is and he's sliding down the hill. Oh, it's the angle there. I just missed it. All right, well, that's okay. Okay, so now I fast traveled over to this tent and I have a level seven lion here and another level seven lion here. So these two lakes are really good for lions, but let's change the time and see what else we can find on the twin lakes. Okay, I changed the time to just about 9 a.m. and it is wildebeest drink time and we have a gigantic herd of wildebeest here. I am still on the twin lakes. There's another zone with just a solo. So the Twin Lakes is a great place definitely to drop a tent. I have one on this side and one right in the middle. I have zones here for lions, wildebeest, and for Gemsbok and Eurasian Widgeon. Now, if you are looking to hunt Cape Buffalo or Kudu or Warthog, you're going to find them basically along the top, right, and bottom coast of the map. You're not gonna find many animals on the west side, but all the rest of the coasts, that is where you're gonna find them basically drop a tent intermittently. Right now I am set up for the lion grind. I actually pulled a bunch of my tents that were along the coast, but having tents intermittently along the coast will definitely help you in hunting those three species because they have most of their zones along the coast now. Now, the other places that you will find Cape Buffalo who drink from nine until 12, they drink at this lake, they drink at this lake right here, and they drink at this lake up here. This used to be their very best spot, and now you will not find any capes at this lake. Now, the very best spots for all three of those species species being kudu, warthog, and cape is by the outpost. So basically, here's an outpost here. So there's a little area, so basically like that. Then when you go down to the corner down here, I'd say from this outpost all the way down to about that outpost there, and then down here from this outpost up here. So that should help you to remember where the best spots are around the coast. Subscribe for more learning content, and thank you guys so much for watching.